Let's talk a little bit today about breathing. I know that after I've gone for a run or I just came back from Colorado, so being at altitude, if I'm walking uphill, I'm gonna start breathing out of my mouth. It's just a natural way to get more ox oxygen into the body. But there are times when I am feeling a certain way that there's constriction inside of my body and I wanna be able to release it while I'm still with a whole bunch of other people, but I wanna be intentional about that, still being present for the conversation. But there are things that we can do in order to help ourselves release that energy. So first, yes, pay attention to it. The next part is when we have our mouth open, when we breathe in, we are able to take in more oxygen. That's point one. The second point is when we breathe out, when we have our mouth open, we are releasing more energy as well. That makes a lot of sense. When our mouth is closed, we're breathing through our nose, we are filtering our energy more and bringing that air in a little bit more slowly and same thing with breathing out. The tempo of our breathing makes a difference. The tempo, if we're breathing quickly, is going to have us move faster in our thoughts. If we wanna slow or unwind that process, then we wanna slow down our breathing. So, if you are in a place where you are experiencing anger and you want to release that, keep your mouth open as you are breathing in and breathing out and have your exhale be a little bit longer than your inhale. If you are experiencing that, uh, that it's difficult to sleep and you want to be able to sleep more, uh, or go back to sleep, I invite you to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, but first to take the tip of your tongue, put it on the roof of your mouth, and as you are breathing in to count to four, and as you are breathing out to count to five or to six, again, lingering on the exhale. I invite you to try these techniques and to see how they work for you, and I invite you to share it in the comments below.